Good morning, folks. Friday, June 10th, La Nina advisory. Current status, the chances of a La Nina three-peat this winter have increased. La Nina, the cool phase of the ENSO climate pattern, influences hurricanes, uh, has links to springtime tornado activity, and can increase the chances of drought in some regions, in fact. And it appears, here's the April 2022 picture, that the, that equatorial water in the Pacific is cold. And that is blue, departure from normal. Now, during wintertime La Nina pattern, which we're just exiting, it is wetter in the northwest and colder um, up in the upper Midwest and then drier in the southwest, as you can see from this map. And here we are at the current averaged upper ocean heat content anomaly at the equatorial Pacific. And you can see that there was a recovery and it warmed up here at the beginning of the year in February, but dropped back down into La Nina and may stay there. As you can see, it's dropping slightly back down. And this can be confirmed here at the current west wide snowpack with more than 3000% of normal in some areas. It's incredible. And as I said, following the dry start of the year, which has everything to do with the cycle, this was the dry start in the Northwest, it got very wet, very wet. Um, and the impact of that snow can be seen in the current snowpack figures here and across the West. And that's with the exception of Colorado, Utah, California, and Nevada, where they're, where I am, it's only 7% of normal. And that's because during these three years of La Nina, it's exceptionally dry down here in the West, but wet up in the Northwest. In fact, exceptionally wet. wet. The Pacific Northwest has area with the snowpack 300% of normal, almost everywhere. Idaho has areas where the snowpack is over 2,000% normal. Take a look at this. Let's bring in Idaho. 1,200, 1,000, 2,300%, 2,400%, 973%. So Idaho doing pretty good, but not to be beat out here. Northern Wyoming is currently at more than 3,014% of normal for this time of year. Absolutely record breaking. And on the other side, southwestern Colorado and Utah, half of Utah, very bleak. And even the Tahoe region over here, 32% in some areas. So, all to blame on La Nina and the Enso cycle, which is predicted to continue for a third straight year. As significant rain and snowfall is on tap for Glacier Peak, these regions may see snow all summer. As you can see here through mid-June 16th, up to four feet of snow predicted in northern Montana. And tons of snow for Idaho and those regions well above normal. Hope you got something out of the video. That is certainly a boom, a La Nina boom to knowledge. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And be safe. We love you.